Welcome everybody back to another Madden 21 video and today we are doing a rebuild of the Jacksonville Jaguars because I'm pretty sure they have clinched the number one uh, draft spot this year and I mean I I believe they're going to go with Trevor Lawrence. Um, I really do think the Jets obviously were uh, the first draft pick for a while until they won those last two games. The Jaguars look like they're going to snag him up. So I imported the draft class. Uh, for this upcoming season and this is what we're going to do we're going to uh get trevor lawrence and then uh rebuild from the ground up pretty much trying to get some other good draft um draftees um maybe dabble in free agency a bit see how this season goes um uh, and maybe i'll do a couple seasons and see how far and how good uh we can get here he is guys trevor lawrence we're gonna go ahead and draft him here he is um 6'6", 224, 21 years old. He is going to, we're basically going to build a team around him. Going to get some more receivers, hopefully. Um, build the offensive lineup. I want these Jacksonville Jaguars to, uh, you know, let's get to that 10 win. Uh, let's get the 10 wins this season. Here is everybody we got. So first pick, of course, Trevor Lawrence. Went with a right guard, left guard. We got a wide receiver. Uh, we got another uh, couple offensive linemen here. Right outside linebacker, halfback, and then we ended with a tight end. So this is a lot of a lot of good players to uh we got four of them in, in, in 70 overall, so that's pretty good. Um we got two first round picks. Um this is looking pretty good, man. This is looking pretty good. I'm happy with uh I'm happy with who we got. Now, of course, now we gotta adjust our adjust our roster here. See who's gonna be plugged in where. So here's what we're looking at right now. We got obviously Trevor Lawrence there. Um, at the quarterback position, um, running back, we got James Robinson, of course. So that's a nice one, too. And then we got the rookie right there behind him. So hopefully he gets some snaps in as well. Wide receiver, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much liking what we got for wide receiver. Um, we got Chark, which is a really good up and coming. Uh, he did really good the, the last two seasons, honestly. He's been pretty good. Um, Cole is pretty good, 77 overall. I really do like him. He's got some nice speed on him. And then Chenault as well. He is really good. Um, I really like him. Um, Tyler Eifert, I gotta look into him a little bit more. Um, eight years in the league. Um, I mean, it's not bad. He's a big tight end. Um, we'll see how this season goes. Uh, maybe I'll trade him. I don't know. Maybe we'll draft a higher um, overall. Or right, we'll just look in free agency. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna look at the trade block. But he's not bad there. Offensive line got a little bit better. Um, I like to look into a left tackle if that's possible. Um, offensive line looking pretty sturdy. Um, I like to upgrade at the left tackle position, though. Uh, but other than that, I like, I'm like i pretty much liking our offense. Um, I'm really liking our offense, actually. Uh, again, though, if I can get another uh, wide receiver, that'd be cool. Um, running back, I'm, I'm liking our running backs. We're pretty much set there. Um, defense, I love the defense. It's pretty stacked. Um, 67 overall safety. Thomas up there. Um, cornerback, we're looking okay. Henderson, and we got Jones. Um, cornerback is definitely a position I want to look at. I think strong safety, D tackle, and corner um, for defense would be something that um, I should look at for the defense. And then on offense, um, if there's a cheap wide receiver we can get or a second tight end, um, that would be awesome too. And then of course a left tackle. But I mean, I'm not I'm not mad at this. I really do like this lineup. So just looking at the wide receivers here, Kendrick Bourne is a free agent. And Tim Patrick, he was really good for the Broncos. Um, and Josh Reynolds is pretty good as well. Um, all these guys are decent. Um, ooh, 88 speed. We got 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 91 catching. I think I think I might go with Tim Patrick here at wide receiver. But I want to keep looking around. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign Tim Patrick uh, for a one-year deal. See how he does this year. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the... I'm going to head to the trade block and... Um, you know, I do like, uh, I mean, Minshew's not bad, but if we can if we can trade him potentially, that would be pretty solid to get a nice piece um, on the offensive line. But hey, because we got our quarterback, um, Jake Luton um, isn't actually that bad. Um, he played pretty good for the Jags this year. I mean, obviously the Jags are the Jags, but he didn't play too um, horrible. All right, so I really like this trade here. We got Anthony Costanzo. Um, I love him. He's on my favorite team. 82 overall, left tackle. That helps us tremendously. And I gave a third round pick in Minshew for him. That is awesome. I'm actually really happy with that. So guys, another trade that I ended up doing. This one was good because we unloaded um, 
the D tackle on our team's uh, contract. He was actually one of the higher paid ones. So that was good to get rid of his contract. And we gave a fourth round pick as well for Edmonds and a fifth round. So this really helped us. Um, we got three D tackles that were all 73 overall. And like I said, that guy was the highest uh, had the highest contract so we got rid of him and we got a fifth round pick in return and admin so that is awesome i'm gonna go quickly back and see what we're looking like because god damn look at this offense defense let's see where we go let's generate best lineup and uh see what we're looking like all right so here we are we got costanzo norwell linder our draft pick there davis we got taylor uh offensive line is looking sturdy and then we got eifert um and a second tight end i'm gonna go look for um wide receiver pretty much the same thing except we added tim patrick over there so that's going to be and we got like we got so many good wide receivers and then running back we got james robertson and the rookie of course trevor lawrence defense is pretty stacked um one thing of course i want to look for we got our uh, our safety gotta look for a d tackle and then possibly uh, a cornerback, but we're pretty good for corner. We got 280s, a 70, and 65. I mean, that's not too bad. But if I can close out this um, free agency trade period here with a nice D tackle, that would be great. All right, so after going through a bunch of trades, I decided just to go to the free agent market, and there is a lot of nice D tackles here. Um, let's see, 11 year experience, a veteran. Uh, we got, come on, short, eight years experience. Uh, honestly, I can pick up a couple guys here um, and improve our defensive line uh, significantly. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I don't want, I don't want 11 years, eight years is all right. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Kawan Short. Let's pick him up, see how he does on our squad, and then I got another D tackle there. But maybe I should just leave it at one for now. Um, but he definitely, uh, he definitely helps out. Let's go there quickly. And just check out the squad real quick. See where he plugs in. Um, and what the defense looks like. So what do we got here? Short is right there. And that, look at that, man. Come on now. I think Hamilton, 73. He's a 73. Um, throughout the season, of course, he's going to upgrade. So you know what? Let's just keep it at that. I picked up Quan Short. Uh, you know, sort of a veteran on the defense. Help him out. Um, I think this dude here, Ch I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Chase on. Um, He's only, uh, you know, he's only been in the league one year, so he was a rookie last season, so he can definitely improve as well. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much loaded. I really do like this. Um, I think this is, I think this is what a team is going to look like. I think this is what I'm going to keep it as. Um, we're going to sim a couple weeks, see where the team is at. Um, hey, if we can do more than uh, what one win, I mean, <laughs> that's a win, right? So let's go ahead, sim a couple games, sim to the end of the preseason at least, and see, you know, see what we're looking like. All right, we're here week one. Uh, we got some upgrading to do after the preseason. Upgrading a bunch of these 60s, which is nice. And then a couple of our, uh, our starters as well. Uh, let's upgrade all these dudes here. 13 players were upgraded by one. Not too shabby. Team is looking pretty good. 82 overall. 84 offense, 80 defense. I'm liking it. And we got the Jets week one. Let's really ram these guys. And the schedule is looking pretty decent. Um, can we see our entire schedule? So we got the Jets, Bills, Seahawks, Patriots. I mean, it's looking pretty good. We got a week, we got a, a week nine bye. Um, so maybe that's when I will come back to you guys. I'll sim until week nine, see where we're at, adjust some stuff. Um, and then, you know, schedule's not looking too bad. So you know what? I mean, I can see a potential here. I see a lot of potential, especially with the pickups that I made. All right, let's sim a few weeks and see where we're at. All right, so not the start that I thought. We're one and four. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh my God! The Texans are four and zero, oh, and the uh, <laughs> the Tennessees are four. The Tennessee is four and zero oh as well. And then us and the Colts are down at the bottom. Um, okay. Let's just let's just quickly see what's up. Let's let, let's compare the league. See where we're at. Trevor Lawrence with a nice thirteen hundred passing yards. Let's compare it to the rest of the league though. See where we're at in the NFL. Drew Locke leads the league, but we're not too far down. Check this out. Trevor Lawrence, 1,300 yards. And look at this, guys. Eight touchdowns, one pick. Love to see that ratio. It's so good. It's I, Like, I, I, I've done rebuilds before. And the quarterback, of course, you know, eight touchdowns, 16 picks. You know, it kind of doubles. But, hey, we're doing better than a lot of these guys. Look at this. Justin Fields. Oh, he's on the, he's on the Steelers. Um, Justin Fields down there. But, hey. We're in top five, one, two, three, four. We're fifth, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Rushing, where are we at? We are nowhere near the top. Here we are, James Robinson. We got 300 
and one yard, six touchdowns. That's pretty good through only, what, four or five weeks so far? No fumbles, which is always nice to see. Receiver, look at this, our pickup. Tim Patrick with 32 catches, 520 and two touchdowns. That is amazing. I really do like that. Are we anywhere else? We got anybody? No, it's not looking good. There we go. DJ Chark with 24 catches and a touchdown. Not too bad, guys. Schobert down here with two sacks. Nowhere close to the, you know, leading the league. But hey, that's all right. At least we're on this list. We're doing we're doing okay. Tackles, are we anywhere? Oh, here we go. Schobert again. Schobert is killing it right now. Um, he's doing pretty good. Do we got any picks, though? Let's, let's see that. Let's see how many picks we got this season. Five up there at the very top. Are we anywhere? It's not looking like it. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. Sidney Jones got one. All right. All right. So, all in all, I mean, I'm not mad at that. Trevor Lawrence is playing amazing. Um, he's doing really good. I mean, it just sucks. Maybe let's actually check the scores of those games. So here we lost by so none of these are blowouts. We're putting up a lot of points. So we lost 28 30, or 38 28. We lost by three there. We lost. Oh my god, look at this. Putting up a lot of points. We got a W there, putting up 34. 21 is the least amount of points we've scored. So we are just maybe it's our obviously it looks like our defense is just giving up way too much points. A couple of contracts here I want to keep. Um, definitely want to keep DJ Chark. Terrell Edmonds, we just got him. I want to keep him. Um, Eifert, we can let go. Um, this right guard, maybe we'll try and do a little, a little something, something. Come on, short. We'll see how he does near the middle of the season. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna propose a, uh, an offer here. All right, guys. It is week nine. I want to show you some things that I've been doing off screen. Uh, let's upgrade these guys a little bit. Josh Allen's going up. Uh, we got a lot of good guys getting upgraded right now. Jake Luton, I guess, he's getting some action. Miles Jack is about to be a 94. So we are building our players up in this team. Negotiations. This dude wants a little bit more money. Uh, Kawan Short. I got to check his stats still. Tim Patrick. I'm going to re-sign him most likely. He's doing really well. Um, so let's negotiate with this dude here. He wanted a bigger bonus. So let's give him a little bit of a bigger bonus. See if he... Hold on. I'm going to up it a little bit. I'm scared. I really want DJ Shark to re-sign with us. All right. Let's go. Good. Okay. He's on, he's on board. All right, so now what I want to do is I've been scouting some college players and like the positions that I wanted to upgrade was um, cornerback. So I was looking at the corners. Got a bunch I've scouted here. I'm going to scout a couple more. See if maybe we can get some late rounders, um, some late round guys, um, or some good guys in later rounds. Sorry. Um, and then I'm going to, what else? We got D tackles I wanted to look at as well. We got a bunch of them here. A lot of good D tackles. Fourth round there, Johnny Killings. This guy looked good. I could probably get him late. Um, so I mean, this is pretty good. I want to scout as, as much as possible um, on these three spots. Um, and of course, sorry, the third spot is tight end. If I wanted to get a good tight end, maybe again we can get someone late. Maybe trade away a draft pick, or maybe before the season's done, I can trade for a draft pick. Um, Trade a couple uh, late rounders for an early rounder. Trade a, a player of ours for a, for a pick. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I've been wanting to get, you know, draft some good players. So that's what I'm looking at right now. But we're in week nine. It is the it is the bye week. And what do we got here? What is our record? It is two and six. Okay, not what I was looking like. Or sorry, not what I was wanting at this point. Um... What's going on? I, I, I need to see the schedule. I need to see what's going on and why we're getting killed. Because we're putting up a lot of points last time I checked. Raiders, we lost again. 21-38. Colts, 25. Oh my God. 30-25. to 25. Bengals, we got wiped. 31-10. And Cardinals, we won. But for, like in all honesty, we're putting up a lot of points. And still getting a, an L. So what it's looking like, depending on what is actually happening in these games. Rush yards... No, look, we're holding them in the rushing game. The passing game is probably something maybe we can work on. I don't know if that's safety or, you know, maybe linebacker and corner. But they're putting up a lot of points on us. Not Jacksonville, or sorry, not Cardinals because we um, we won that game. But I'm just talking about these games up here. Are we getting ran on? I mean, they put up 150 on us at 196. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. I just don't know. Maybe we just can't. I don't know. It, it's obviously the defense, of course, because I mean, come on, we can't be putting up 30 points a game. I mean, that's insane. So very, I'm actually very disappointed. Um, we're two and six on the year. I don't like that. 
but our players are doing pretty well. So that's just kind of mind mind boggling to me. Uh, I'm not really too I'm not too sure what's going on. I'm really I'm really happy with um, our boy here, Trevor Lawrence, kicking ass here. Um, so Josh Lawrence, look at this. Or sorry, Josh Lawrence, Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence, um, third in the NFL, 2,145 yards. And he's only added two picks since we've seen them last with, like, what, five touchdowns since? Which is very good. Um, so 13 to 3 is a really good ratio. I do like that. Rushing. We were near the sort of in top 10 last time, I think. Where are we? We're kind of going down here. Is the offensive line an issue, maybe? But we got, look at this, eight touchdowns. Not too bad. Almost averaging a touchdown a game. So that's pretty good. Receiving. Tim Patrick, man, leading the league still. Three tutters. Killing it in the yard, 736 and 45 catches, man. I mean, we are really hooking the ball up to him. And then DJ Chark as well, 37 catches for only got a touchdown. Um, so clearly we're we're just force feeding Tim Patrick. So let's go back, sim a few weeks. We're obviously not making the playoffs, so we're gonna sim. I'm gonna scout some more players, and then we'll start the next season. All right, guys. So we went on a winning streak here. So we finished seven and nine, which I'm actually pretty proud of. Um, because we were what? We only had two two wins. So let's check this winning streak that we had um, in the regular season. So after we got... Okay, after the week nine bye, we got a win. 35 points. Another 35-point game. We lost to the Colts for some reason two times this, this season. Put up another 31 points against the Texans. We got, we got beat there, obviously. But we're putting up a crazy amount of points. We got on a nice little win streak, too. Um, this game, I want to see what we're, what we're looking like, man. 100 rush yards, almost 300 passing yards, 30 us return yards, first down 15. Man, we're pretty, uh, you know. Oh, look at this. We were up 28 nothing at one point. My God. Okay, killing it. So, I mean, you know what? Not mad at it. 7-9 is a great start. Had a great season so far. Let's see where we finished, of course. Look at this. 4,000 yards for Trevor Lawrence. Look at the stats. 31 touchdowns and only 10 picks. Pretty proud of that right there. Okay, so where are we? All right, so down here, 4,100 yards, like I said. Uh, we got 31 touchdowns and 10 picks. Absolutely amazing. I love that. Where did we finish in the rushing game here? Down quite a bit, but where are we? Oh, here we are. Almost 1,000 yards. Came very close, 925. Got 12 touchdowns. Oh my God, did amazing. Receiving. Where's, Tim? Where's our boy? 76 catches for 1,209. Let's go. All right, guys. So it's free agency time. But before we do that, uh, teams play pretty, play or looks pretty much the same overall wise. Uh, but look at Trevor Lawrence at an 84 overall, so solid. Um, what we got? James Robinson up to an 86. DJ Chark up to an 86. Chanel to an 81. Tim Patrick, where's he at? He went up a bit. Look at that, 80 overall, killing it. Absolutely killing it. He's looking like he's going to be our number two wide receiver pretty pretty much. And you know what? I'm going to do it in the, uh, where is it? Where is the damn death chart? I want to put him at number two, man. Chenault's good, man. But Tim Patrick, killing it last year. I think he deserves a, a, de deserves a little boost. Um, so I'm throwing him at, at, at uh, wide receiver two. Um, like I said, Chenault's great. And he'll be great in the slot, you know, third uh, wide receiver. But, hey, we're doing really good. Costanzo, all our guys up front here. Doing very well. And look at our draft pick up there in an 80 overall now. We don't have a tight end, so that's what we're going to have to draft or maybe pick up in free agency. I'm not sure. What do we got here? Defense. So we got a free safety that has left us. Edmonds is up there, though. 80 overall now. Um, I let go of Kawan Short. He didn't do as good as I wanted to. We got this dude up getting up a few overalls, so which is pretty good as well. But, hey. So we got a few a few spots that we can upgrade, um, which is what we're obviously going to do. Free safety, D tackle, which was our goal. We got a draft. We got free agency period. We got a lot. Um, we got a lot of avenues here. So I'm gonna go in free agency, dig in, and see what we can get. All right. So we got a. Ooh. Okay. We got a couple accept. A couple people to accept here. We got Robert Tanyan at tight end. Nice young guy there. And we got Haha -ha Clinton Dix as our as our safety. So that's pretty nice. Um, Let's scout some players, go back to free agency, and uh, see who else we can get. Oh my god, we got some big players finally accepting. So we got Brandon Williams, D-tackle, and then 
Alexander is a 98 overall. I can't believe I got him. He was uh, Jer Alexander. My God, I can't believe that. That was the big one I was waiting for. That is, uh, wow, that's awesome. So now, guys, we're going to start the NFL draft. we got a bunch of players that I uh, scouted I want to look at. Um, skip ahead to our pick in the draft. All right, guys, so our second draft is a wrap. What we got here, first overall pick was a D tackle out of Auburn. Um, first round talent. He's going to be really good for us. Run stopper. That's going to help you. 77 overall. Then we got a tight end. Um, got him in the second round out of Wisconsin. Um, 68 overall. So he's going to start behind Tanyan. So good thing we got Tanyan as well. Um, then we got a free safety, corner, another halfback, and a cornerback as well. So, you know, after I go and refresh the squad, um, see where we're at. I mean, I'm liking it. All right, guys. So here's the team starting out on defense because we got a lot. Um, so we drafted this guy right here, Stewart. So he's going to start um, at D-tackle two. We got Brandon Williams, which we picked up. And then the guy who has, was on our team last year, Hamilton. Um, Chasen is still there, 75. I want to give him another year. Um, he upgraded a few overall. So let's we'll, we'll see how he does. Um, and of course, Jerry Alexander, man. I can't believe we got him. 98 overall. Our corners are absolutely loaded. Got 98, 82, 80, 72. We're loaded over there. Safety, which we traded for him. We need a new left outside linebacker. So that's what we're going to focus on on this um, coming offseason. We got Ha, -ha Clinton Dix. Um, defense is, 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 uh, is a beast. Um, we, got, we got Taylor up here. Draft pick from last year. Um, team is absolutely uh, loaded. Absolutely loaded. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to try and get us a left outside linebacker to complete this team. We're now an 84 overall. Offense is an 85. Defense is an 84. Got to up that defense so we can get these teams to stop scoring so much points on us. And then, uh, you know, let's see, where we can, let's see who we can get. All right. So I got us Gary from, uh, I think his name is Rashad Gary, from the Green Bay Packers. Absolutely. I, I love him. I love him. And we traded uh, our third string D tackle and next year's second round pick. I'm happy with that. I love that. Now our defense is loaded um, after trying with a bunch of other teams. And then look at that. He upgraded us to an 85. So now we're 85, 85 offense and defense. Absolutely solid unit we got here, guys. Loving this. So now I have uh, extreme high hopes for this year. Um, hoping these D tackles can develop. So we'll see if they can. Um, and of course, we got to shut down corners. So, I mean, there's no way. There's no way people are scoring a... Uh, 30 points a game on us again this year all right guys week one is about to start preseason is over bunch of guys to upgrade here pretty solid josh allen is now an 88 let's go team is developing well look at the offense 87 now wow after that upgrade session we got an 87 and an 85 i mean come on now our team is looking stacked right now with with uh with all the players we got so let's in a few weeks see where we're at hopefully no one gets injured Cross your fingers. Um, let's go. Oh, yes. Let's go. Week four. Sorry, week six. My bad. Week six, uh, we're about to play the Raiders. But we are three and one. Way better start than last year. Uh, midway through the season, we had almost like, what, one? Or, we had two wins. Not great. But we have a bunch of players to negotiate with. We got to upgrade, of course. Got to keep going with this. Got a bunch of uh, lower overalls getting some upgrade points which is always great developing those players trevor lawrence now has a new ability to unlock so we are leading our division right now after this game we'll see what might be tied hopefully we get the win four and one would be great but i want to just check out um how we're doing what we're oh look at this 42 28 42 we're probably 21 and 31 god damn i love to see it um, and we beat the Titans, which is great in our, a divisional game there. But we're doing pretty good, man. We put up a lot of points, and our defense obviously uh, is helping us out here by not letting other, uh, the other team score a shit ton of points. So that's great. Um, crap, one schedule again. Let's go to stats quickly. Just want to see what's going on here with our team. See how we are doing compared to the rest of the NFL. Lawrence killed it last season. Let's see what he's going to do this year. Uh, where are we? We're down a little bit this year. 950, 11 touchdowns and five picks. I'm not liking that too much. Five picks, we gotta get rid of that. Um, and are we anywhere on this list for running backs? Not looking so good. James Robinson with 272 and three touchdowns. Receiving Tim Patrick was killing it last year. 
having a little slump. I don't see anybody on our team anywhere in the top 10. Chenault is leading our team right now with 25 catches for 208. Uh, Chark is right there. Tanyan is there. And Tim Patrick, 11. Maybe I should put him back as our third string um, wide receiver because he was flourishing there. All right, so we're kind of, uh, we're, we're four and three, which we still got a winning record, of course, but a couple losses in there as well. We're week nine. Where's our bye? I think we must, might, maybe already passed our bye. Um, I just want to quickly check when that is. So that's what, that will be where the point, oh no, it was week four our bye was. God damn, okay, so we don't got a bye. All right, so week nine, we got the Colts, big game. Big game, the next two games, divisional games, and we got the Colts again in week 12. So we got to win those games. We're at 87 across the board. Oh, that's so nice. I really do like that. I really do like it. All right, so let's continue this. Hopefully we go on a winning streak. I want to get into the playoffs. So we got to win these games. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, we're 7-7. Seven and seven. Where are we in our division? Okay, we're second. Oh, man. We have two games left, Chargers, and then we got to beat the Texans. Absolutely, we have to beat those guys to get into the playoffs to win our division so oh my god okay we got we got we got uh, the chargers here let's upgrade of course bunch of dudes on our team to upgrade points offense is at an 88 now absolutely amazing all right so let's check our stats we haven't done this in a while week 16 now we got 3500 passing yards not too bad with the uh, 33 touchdowns which, which is i think what we had last season so that's pretty good rushing robinson Almost got a thousand yards, 831. DJ Chark now leads the team there, 908 with seven touchdowns. Defense, what do we got for tackles here, guys? Solo tackles, 87 for Miles Jack. Tackles for loss, 17. Goddamn sacks, he's got seven. I love it. Picks, Schobert, and our boy Jer Alexander, absolutely killing it. And Miles Jack. These guys right here are pretty much our defense. And then we got, what's his name? Where is he? He was he was he was back here. He was leading the team. Uh, Josh Allen. He's pretty good. So, oh god, this is crazy. We gotta win that last game. We lost. Oh, and the Texans lost. Okay, so this is a huge game. Oh my god, we got a three-way tie. Okay, I'm gonna play this game. Three-way tie. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta win. We got. We gotta win. Oh, and Trevor Lawrence. Check it out. Oh, can we get in there? Diving in for the touchdown. Trevor Lawrence taking it upon himself to absolutely tear this defense apart. Let's do it. Going up 7-0 in this huge game against a division rival. Look at this dude go. And the dive. Goal line situation here. Can we do something with it? Throwing it to the running back. And the running back has got nothing but room. And there is Trevor Lawrence's first passing touchdown of the game. And James Robinson is going to take this one all the way to the house. I can't believe it. Going up 21-3. to Absolutely punishing these Houston Texans. Oh, and there's another touchdown. We are handling our business here in the first half. Dime catch in the back of the end zone. 27-3. to This first half is just, it's just done. Wide open. Come on now. Tim Patrick, who else? The leading reception, uh, the guy who had the most receptions on our team last season. Getting a dime touchdown. This game is a wrap, man. This game is over. And the absolute amazing blocks here. Oh, can we shake this last guy? Oh, we're not going to be able to. Down to the five. We, oh my God, look at this offense. We are clicking. And there we go, right there. Boom, baby. Who else? Let's go. Chark, another touchdown. <laughs> this is insane. That is a wrap. We got the W. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely scoring. We, we have scored so much on offense this game. It was insane. We got 41 points, I believe. Trevor Lawrence, look at this dive, man. He played amazing today. And we'll see how this all turns out. Obviously, we have to wait on. I think it was the Colts who had the same record as us. And what a nice glitchy glitch. They could not. They really. EA really going to leave this glitch in. We finished 8-8. Eight and eight, And so did the Colts. I don't know if we're in the wild card. I really don't know. Let's check the bracket here. Where are we? Are we in here? We are not in here. We didn't make the playoffs. Are you serious? We try our best. We did. I mean, hey. I mean, hey. We did very good going from uh, one win team to 8-8 uh, to eight and eight in just a couple years. Um, last season we finished, was it 7-9 and nine or something like that? We got a lot of upgrading to do. 
or sorry, we had a lot of upgrading to do, which we did. Team is, team is clicking. Team is awesome. But guys, I'm going to end this video here. I had a lot of fun doing these videos. If you guys like this, or even if you have a suggestion on how I could do it better, um, let me know down below. I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, if you know any tricks or anything like that with trades, um, or free agency, or maybe the scheme fit is also something that I should look at to upgrade players um, faster um, to get their overall their overalls up more. But hey, look at this team, man. Chanel 79. I mean, we had a lot of players to upgrade a lot. Look at this. Chark is almost at a 90. And same with Lawrence. Look at this. 88 overall in just a couple seasons. I mean, absolutely killing it. James Robinson as well. 87. Tanyan over there. I'm really happy we picked him up. He did very well. And we drafted this guy. 83 now. Pretty good in the defense too, man. I mean, defense has come a long way. We got Allen there. We got Mac. We got Jer Jair Alexander. Big free agency pickup. And he's a 99. Jesus Christ. He did really well. But we did a couple good trades. Schobert is one guy who I'm pretty uh, proud to have. He did really well um, leading our team in some aspects earlier on. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this style of video. Um, and again, if you have any suggestions on what I could do differently next time, um, leave me a comment down below or tell me what team I should do next. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Jets. That's a for sure one. Um, but again, guys, let me know in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.